What's happening, friends? Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick, and on this channel, I talk about cryptocurrency, decentralized finance, and economics. Today's video is about ZK rollups. ZK rollups have been the talk of the cryptocurrency world recently. In this video, I'll do my best to unpack exactly what they are, why they matter, and then look at a few projects that potentially would benefit from a ZK rollup narrative. We talk a lot about narratives on this channel, and Truthfully, the ZK rollup narrative is not one that I had on my radar for this fall, but it has been getting a lot of talk recently, so I think that it's uh, responsible to cover it and to potentially add some projects to my portfolio that would that would incorporate ZK rollups. So first, what, what exactly do ZK rollups do? And like this article here says, they're a path to scaling Ethereum. Ethereum, if you've used it recently, you know uh, the fees are to a point where it's almost unusable if you're not trading with a large amount of money. Sometimes it's $40 to $50 just to transfer a token. You're lucky if it's less than that. Uh, many times it's $150 to $200 to swap tokens on Uniswap, similar amount to buy an NFT. Uh, it's just it's just not a sustainable amount. And so what ZK rollups do is they take a lot of the intensive computation operations involved in smart contracts, perform those off-chain, and then just record the change in wallet values on chain. So if you were into mathematics, you'd say they record the delta on chain. So you can imagine there's a lot of different wallets interacting with a smart contract, transferring things back and forth, and then ZK rollups would bundle those transactions together and then record the change in wallet values from the initial state and the final state on the blockchain. And the result of this is because they're bundling hundreds of operations together and then recording recording those in one transaction. The gas fee gets split out between between all of those different transactions, which means that a ZK rollup could potentially have cents, pennies on the transaction if enough people were, were using it. Uh, and another interesting thing about ZK rollups is that is that oftentimes they would actually get cheaper the more people use them because they're spreading out the gas fee among more transactions. So pretty, pretty cool there. And uh, the reason they're called ZK rollups is uh, ZK stands for zero knowledge. Zero knowledge proofs are a concept in cryptography. And uh, essentially what a zero knowledge proof is, is it's a way of demonstrating that you have information without actually sharing that information. So you can imagine it would be uh, relatively easy to prove that you possess information just by showing it to someone. Uh, but it's it's more challenging to demonstrate that you have that information without showing it. And in terms of cryptocurrency, what this means is that they allow these these uh, off-chain computation uh, entities to demonstrate that they they recorded a series of transactions and operations that resulted in this new delta delta and wallet values without actually sharing those transactions with the blockchain. Because if they shared all those transactions with the blockchain, then they're not really rolling up and scaling anything. And, and the actual details of this are uh, significantly more technical. I'll include a couple couple readings here for those of you who might be interested. Uh, again, this, this is just high level what it's doing. And, and if you want it in a sentence, it's batching transactions together so that you pay lower gas fees. And uh, why are people talking about it now? Well, the first thing is that Starkware, which has been one of the main entities working on ZK rollups, they there's two types of ZK rollups, Snarks and Starks, and uh, and they are finally in their alpha mainnet. So and this was just last week, so they, they are getting close to launch. Uh, that's really exciting, and and this is highly anticipated. Another reason is that uh, Polygon has also launched a ZK Stark scaling solution. So right now, Polygon, although they build themselves as an Ethereum scaling solution, and in a sense they are, right now they exist essentially as a sidechain similar to similar to uh, Binance Smart Chain, but they are working on switching over to actually being a ZK rollup solution, which would be uh, which would potentially make them one of the premier premier uh, rollup solutions for Ethereum and and would potentially onboard a lot more users to ZK rollups. So this is sort of the reason I'm sharing this is because this is a narrative that's been forming recently, right? 
And, uh, and, and so, so how can you benefit from this, right? Besides potentially being interesting. Well, there's a few projects that are doing it. The first one I just mentioned is Polygon. And uh, even though they don't have ZK rollups yet, I'm expecting that a lot of attention will be focused on them uh, at, for this ZK rollup narrative. And uh, I'm including the price here just because the price has been positive the past few days. It's right now about where it was before that major crash the other day. So as always, be sure to dollar cost average if you decide that this is a good investment. Uh, but, but I think there's some interesting catalysts for this coming up. Uh, first is Polygon's ZK Day is in just a couple days. Today's the 6th of December and ZK Day is December 9th. And here the Polygon team will discuss the current state and future of ZK Starks and applications of zero-knowledge proofs. And you can see they say they have a special exciting announcement. And a lot of people have different theories about what those are. Before I talk about what those theories are, let's just look at the people here. You can see they've got a number of interesting people, including Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum. So perhaps he has something to do with the announcement. That's what some people are speculating. Uh, e either way, uh, you know, Z Vitalik has expressed his support for ZK rollups as a scaling solution for Ethereum. So, so it, it's uh, sort of another another uh, reason that this narrative, I think, is just going to continue to grow since you have the head of the Ethereum Foundation basically saying that this is a scaling solution that people should pursue. Um, and as far as what the theories are, some people are suspecting that maybe it is exactly has to do with Vitalik and it's a, a uh, closer partnership with Ethereum, which would, of course, would would uh, give Polygon a lot more legitimacy. Oh, by the way, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you don't know, Polygon and Matic are the same thing. They were Matic and they rebranded to Polygon, but the token is still called Matic. Uh, other theories are that it might have to do with Uniswap. Uniswap had a governance vote last week about, about deploying on Polygon, and uh, uh, some people think it might have to do with that. Other people suspect that it might have to do with Coinbase NFT. Coinbase stated this fall that they would be, uh, they would be working with Polygon. Uh, as a layer two solution, and, and they have their new NFT project. So some people are speculating that perhaps that will deploy on Polygon. Again, uh, to be determined, but this is potentially a major catalyst that will play into this ZK, ZK narrative. Uh, next project that you might be interested in looking at is Immutable X. Immutable X is not a full deployment of ZK rollups. Uh, they also use the... Uh, Starkware solutions, I believe, but but they are specifically for NFTs and games. So so there won't be DeFi projects on Immutable X. You can see the first layer two for NFTs on Ethereum, zero gas fees, instant trades, and carbon neutral NFTs. Interesting. They have their IMX token. If you're interested, uh, I believe it's still in the top 100. It was bouncing around near the bottom there. Um, but yeah, they have some major partners. Coming on board, they have their Gods Unchained game, which is which is a, a game that that's been built on there. Let's see where their partners are. Um, well, they listed a few of them up here. They they're partnered with Coinbase, Galaxy Digital, a number of a number of other firms. They also have deploying on here the VV app, so that's Ecomi, which has brands like Disney and uh, and Marvel on it. Uh, among other things. Uh, I, I believe OpenSea is planning to go on Immutable X as well. Uh, th they are well positioned to be one of the top chains for NFTs and gaming. And uh, like I said, they have their IMX token. And even though IMX isn't used for uh, gas on Immutable X, uh, it does, IMX holders would receive the uh, the fees that people pay. Next is a loop ring. So loop ring has been around for a while. Loop ring is also a ZK rollup layer two, and it's not a full ZK rollup chain that people could build their own dApps on. However, it is a DEX. So it's a DEX for trading that's built on layer two. And I haven't used this personally, so I can't say, you know, this is a great DEX or, or whether you should use it. Uh, but, but if you were interested in tokens that had to do with the ZK rollup narrative, uh, this is one that I might look at. And their token is LRC. 
and you can see they talk about these exact things high throughput so so they uh, can uh, process more transactions than Ethereum normally would, low cost because you're spreading out the gas fee, and then uh, secure. This is one thing I didn't mention before, but the benefit of ZK rollups over, say, just using a different chain is that you are maintaining the security of Ethereum, Ethereum level security guarantees. Uh, and, and I believe Loopring has, has also uh, come up recently. So again, if you decide that this is a good investment for you, dollar cost average, dollar cost average, dollar cost average. Uh, there's going to be some more projects coming out soon that have to do with ZK rollups. I'll be sure to cover those, uh, but these were just three that three that are already available right now. Let me know what you guys think about ZK rollups. Do you think that this is going to be an effective scaling solution that people will actually use, or do you think it'll be sort of a flash in the pan? And then also let me know if you think that there's any other projects besides the three I mentioned that play into the ZK rollup narrative that you're looking at for your portfolio. That's all I got for today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.